Yeah, oh, it's the 24th of July, 2018, at 6.30 p.m. I'm a bit late today. I was going to do this earlier, but uh, the Friendly Club resurrected itself again. It's a dog of a business, that one. It's, it, it almost lies dormant, and then something will happen, something will come along, and uh, it keeps crawling forward. It's a slow grower, I can tell you. It's like a cactus. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's It's become more of a more of a hobby than anything else. I don't, I don't think there'll ever be a lot of money in it, but it's just something, it, it's, it's kind of an ex, something like this, only an extension. It, it, it feels like it wants to go somewhere, you know. It, it's led to this, which is great. Um, but where it goes, I don't know. I, I really, at the point, I, you know, I've invested a couple of years work in it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's, that's how it has to be, unfortunately. But anyway, uh, what I'd like to talk about today is this, this ongoing conversation we're having about human nature and HN. <laughs> and this is this is something I've been meaning to talk about for some time, you know, and just be straight out right with it, you know. Is it human nature or has is something cloaking us? Is something, uh, I, I still think it's narcissism or alcoholism. Um, I, I put narcissism and alcoholism in the same boat. I live with my wife and she didn't drink, but my God, she was like an alcoholic. And I, I, I won't go into that in too much detail, but yeah, she was narcissistic. And then, you know, I, 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 I formed the opinion that uh, all alcoholics are narcissistic, but not all narcissists drink. Okay, I think you can be a dry narcissist. And, and it's, I, I think it's a learned behaviour myself. I, I think it's possible to get rid of it. Simply by not doing all the things, all the narcissistic things. I, look, the jury is out on it. Um, but that's just how I feel. But, but, but my question to you, you know, to, to think about is, if somebody drinks alcohol, is it, are they... Are they unearthing themselves, revealing themselves as the alcohol, you know, pull down the, you know, the, 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 the curtain or whatever and reveal the, the true self behind it or the true person behind it? Or does the alcohol simply poison the person and drives them mad? Which could lead you to the correct way of, uh, correct, or, or asking yourself, is there a proper way to be insane? <laughs> which I don't know. Which <laughs> I I think that's that's where you'd have, that's the rabbit hole you'd have to get down to. You know, I, you know when people say oh, I've learned how to drink, that's really like saying yes, I've learned how to be insane properly. <laughs> I never bought the argument. I, I I never tried to control my drinking to any extent. I I always kept it as yeah, I'm drinking. It's poison. It's no good for me. Yep, yep. Stop this. You know, don't, don't think for a moment that I can control it or anything else like that. No, you can't. You can't poison yourself and, and remain you know, fully functional or in control. Otherwise, you'd be allowed to drive while drinking. Yeah, but so the authorities don't believe it either. But but really, that that's that's how I sort of see it. Whether that's right or wrong, I don't know. But, you know, it, is, it, is it actually revealing the true human nature behind there or, or is it changing in some way? Now, if you go with the latter and you say, yeah, it's, it's, it would actually change. It would change your nature. You know, oh, you know, like the saying goes, you know, it's a drink talking. Um, but but let's say it was the latter and, and changes your nature. Then I, I would venture that if if alcohol can change nature, narcissism can also change nature. Okay, so what I'm suggesting. Uh, is remove the narcissism. It's like it's like saying to an alcoholic, "Don't drink." Or if an alcoholic just say, "No, I don't want to admit to being an alcoholic, but I'm just not drinking anymore." Uh, well, if if he doesn't drink, he or he or she doesn't drink anymore. Yes, they're probably still an alcoholic, I suppose technically. But as far as I can say, I'd say, "No, you're not. You're not drinking. You're only an alcoholic if you're drinking." It's like you're only a smoker if you're smoking. <laughs> That's just how it is. Um, but I don't know. I mean, you could argue about that as well. You can you can look at that two ways. But but can you see my point? You know, is it true human nature, 
or, or is, it, is, is it something that we're either pouring physically into our body, which is visible and you can tell the effects and that sort of thing, but narcissism is, is, is different because it, come, it usually comes in via television, via society, our friends, everything else like that. It's, it's, but it's the same thing, it's pouring poison into our brain because you end up doing all of these things. But is there any, you know, is there any real difference between the two? One is, is a liquid that, that, you know, just brings it on, or does it bring it on, or does it release it? There's another question. You know, is, is there narcissism in all of us that can be triggered, and it can be triggered by alcohol, or TV, or, you know, I mean, you know how it is. You get quite calm and normal, and you watch some program on television, or, or you, you know, you, you open a YouTube channel, and suddenly, and where did that come from? <laughs> One moment you're perfectly sane, the next moment, <laughs> human nature. Yeah, we're erratic. Yeah. Don't turn on whatever whatever the trigger is, and you won't be erratic. You know, like you could you could you know if if say I was you know I was with with somebody and I've been there for ten years, yeah, you know, and I watched the you know a particular program or a particular YouTube channel, and like oh there he goes again, yeah, you know, he's going off his nut. He's always going off his nut. But if I didn't watch that thing, I wouldn't go off my nut. Or if I didn't have that drink, I'd be sane. You know, so is it human nature? Or is it something we're doing to ourselves? Okay, now I got an excellent comment from J. Lord today. Uh, we had a great day with comments yesterday. In fact, I, I spent, I reckon, two or maybe three hours flat hammer this, this morning. I got up late because flat hammer. Yeah, responding to comments. Brilliant too, because not one of them made me the slightest bit angry. Brilliant. So I could just <laughs> one after the next. Yep. Not not a not even a hiccup. And I used to get, oh, I don't know. Probably half of them had sort of a and you know, I don't want this. Not one. Just brilliant. Just shoo, straight through. That's good. And offering value to one another. But anyway, I'm I'm digressing here. Uh I can't remember what I was going to say. Yeah, no, Jay Lord, that's right. And we were talking about, uh, you know, whether you could whether you could repair negative, negative uh, traits, character traits. You know, and if you remove those negative uh, character traits, would that in fact change human nature? Which is what actually gave rise to this whole video in the end. Um, and uh, you know, we got we. We had a couple of two and fourths about it, and it's. I I think it's it's possible to change, it, it, it to to modify it. But but what I said to Jay, what came out eventually to Jay is that it it seems to me there are two ways um, to modify negative human traits. One is to dangle a carrot, the other is to have a big stick. So it's either reward or you know, uh, coercion. Coercion uh, has gradually over the years fallen out of favour. Oh, uh, any number of things, you know, where you, well, there's no more corporal punishment in schools anymore. There's just so many things that, that you know, that, that don't exist now that existed 30, 40, 50 years ago. And as one thing after the next happens, we're more or less expected to accept it. Just accept it, you know. Accept this sort of behaviour, that sort of behaviour. Yeah, and, but the coercion has gone. But, and there's nothing to replace it. It's, it's just take away the coercion. There's no incentive to be well behaved. In fact, you know, good guys always come last. Nice guys always come last. There's the incentive. So it's going to take it. <laughs> Great, but you know, don't don't do all of these things. Be a good guy and get to come last. That's actually a disincentive. So I don't know. Uh, you know, it, it, to, if if you can't use coercion, uh, particularly in you know in the formative years and the school years, then you, you've got a choice. You either do nothing and keep just getting worse and worse and worse, which is seems to be what's happening, or you've got to try and find a carrot somewhere. I see what I was suggesting to Jay and and to the, the channel is that if you want to be, uh, if you want to enter the new paradigm that's coming, where there are no jobs and what have you, where you want need to earn money by offering value to one another, you don't have much choice. You've, you've got to get rid of this. So 
you can take on that and get up to this uh, productive, this very creative area. Right? Uh, so yeah, that, in that case, yeah, there'll, there'll be a dollar value attached to it. Which may be, may be what will happen in the end. Because, uh, I mean, we can't, like, the way we're going, yeah, I think people are, are getting off on the drama and what have you, and they're probably, I wouldn't say it's offering anybody value. I think it's, 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 it's just, um, I think you'll find it's just amusement. I think that's what it is. But I think in the end, what, what people will want from one another is value. And, 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 and walk away from thinking, I got something from that. A little bit like church, I suppose, if you want. Yeah, people go to whether you agree with or disagree with another. Yeah, it was always said that yeah, they get something from church. They get a, a spiritual, a spirituality or a, a strength or something, help them get through the week or through the day. Uh, I've never used it, uh, but but I th I think what's going to happen is we're going to have um, people on YouTube are going to be doing a lot of it. I mean, let's face it. A lot of us already call ourselves monks. I'm a monk. A MGTOW monk. Yeah. So, I mean, the monks of old, well, that's what they did. You know, they were there for the people. The people, you know, gave them something, bread, wine, you know, shelter, whatever. Yeah, a few, you know, whatever they could afford. Yeah, so maybe we're the new age monk. And But we have to offer value to you. But that could be what's happening. But, I mean, you, you can't be a monk yeah, and doing this. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just like... Uh, the two don't go hand in hand. Now you've got to get up here, you, you know, you've got to be invigorating, inquire, discuss, find out about people, show an interest in them. Yeah, and I think eventually people will say, no, no, I'm getting something out of this. Yep, yep, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a dollar a month or whatever, you know, whatever the case is. But I think that's probably what the carrot will be in the end. I could be wrong. Uh, but I mean, we can't just keep going this way. Well, we can. Uh, but you won't be able to live on the planet. You know, it, it's. Um, I, I think what people are going to want is, it, it's. You just go. You, in the end, you you get hungry for it, and and you'll just, you walk away from from those people that are doing this, and you'll you'll seek out those people that are doing that, and and you'll look for it. You'll actively think because you'll need it to help you get through the day. I know I do. This is what I told you, and I answered the comments. That was brilliant. I, you know, it put me in a real working mood. I didn't have anybody. Uh, annoying me or trolling me for I mean which is just just ridiculous most of the time but it needs it. it needs that sort of thing I mean it's just where's the value in it yeah if they want to do it can't do it do it to one another you know most of the people on the channel are here you know we've had you know we've been through some pretty horrendous experiences or we're going through them now um, you know we don't need that sort of rubbish you know, we need one another, we need... It, yeah, it's, it's like a church, I guess, this is. But I, I think it'll be happening all over the place. I don't know, I'd be interested to hear any comments on it. But, yeah, that, that's what I, I, I thought of today when I wasn't thinking about the friendly fire. <laughs> Type, you think? Yeah, I've actually got a shopkeeper this time. Mm. Yeah, she's... Um, she's yeah, she chats in the, in the jungle... But she's a um, she owns a little shop, you know, just a tiny little thing attached to a house. You know, she gets a few customers at home. So I thought I'd do it the other way around. And I said, hey, "How much your beers?" <laughs> she told me, I went, "Oh, that's a bit cheaper than AB was telling me." <laughs> well, I suppose she gets them at wholesale. And that so it took me a while to explain, yeah, you know, what I meant. But she said, "Oh, okay, I'll, I'll try it." And I thought, "Well, this is good." I mean, she's an older woman, um, and and I, I think. Yeah, she might see something in it, but I mean, it's just, it, she finally got the idea, oh, okay, so I'm like my own customer. I said, yeah, you've got the shop, think of somebody else owning the shop, and you're a customer of it. I mean, as a business entity, it doesn't, you know, it is something else, or something, and you're, but you're a customer, you know, like other customers, you buy from your own shop. That's what's the problem. But, you know, the, the, the advantage with, with her is that she has the stock on hand, and this is what, this is how I perceive it, you know, that... Yeah, you 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 think oh, I have a drink? Well, you know, I wonder what I wonder what such and such is up to. You want a drink? Up for a drink? Like, yeah, yeah, sure, that'd be good. So you just click. And you want a, you want a beer or something? Yeah, click that, and she just goes and gets it. None of this sending money in advance, you know. And then she doesn't turn up. Like, no, no, you buy one beer, and if she doesn't come back from the, you know, the other room, well, fair enough, you've done your dough. Know. But <laughs> you know, that, that, this is where I want to get to, you know? and and at good prices, low prices, you know. At, at, at Filipino prices, basically. Yeah, so oh, I'm pretty 
pretty happy about that. Hopefully it'll work. We'll try it out. Um, but like I said, it's a dog. It just gets crawled along. Anyway, good talking to you. And I'll, uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.